Isaiah chapter 46, verse 9, and it reads, Remember the former things of old, for I am Yahweh, and there is none else. I am Yahweh, and there is none like me, declaring the end from the beginning, and from ancient times, the things that are not yet done, saying, My counsel shall stand. And I will do all my pleasures. First and foremost, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakakwadash. Next, double honors to the head apostle slash elder bishop of Great Millstone, the one that taught us the 100% truth according to the Bible. Peace, blessings, and safety to all you sincere items. Keep pushing, keep believing, keep your faith. Regardless of people here for a bit. Everything that's written in the scriptures is going to come to pass. Can't nobody stop it. We the biblical Hebrew Israelites. We're going to rule soon come. Lord Yahweh Shai, who they're going to call Jesus, is coming to destroy America, a.k.a. Babylon the Great, and all you heathen nations are going into captivity. All right? This word will be established on the face of the earth. Once again, this is going to be the standard. Yeah, the B-I-B-L-E, not the Quran, not the Egyptian book of the dead. Not the 42 negative laws on me, Yach. Not none of the non, not the chemic books. None of that nonsense. This word is going to be established on the face of the earth. Truth shall stand. Corruption shall be overpassed. And, and, and that's for real, for real. Every, everything is written up. Look, look. The elements are going to melt with fervor. All the above, man. Everything is going according to the plans of Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai, who you ignorantly call God and Jesus, man. All right? Let's get it again. Isaiah 46 and 9. Uh, look, the Israelite man is going to have multiple wives, lots of children, all, all that. All that spiritual power, everything is written up in the scriptures, man. It's going to come to pass. Can't nobody stop it, all right? You can fight, you can scratch, you can scream, you can holler, but you won't stop prophecy. Isaiah 46 and 9, remember the former things of old. For I am Yahweh, and there is none else. I am Yahweh, who they're going to call God, right? And there is none, And there is none like me. Declaring the end from the beginning. It's already written what's going to happen. It's already written what's going to happen. And once again, nobody can't stop it. So, so keep trying. You got Israelites trying to water down the doctrine. They don't want to teach the nastiness of the scripture. Scared they're going to offend somebody. Ooh, I, I don't want to make nobody mad. Well, the scripture says offenses must come. But woe to him of whom the offenses come. So people are going to get offended. This is the truth, man. People hate the truth, so of course people are going to get offended at the truth. You've been taught lies all your life. Still, still voting. When the scriptures tell you don't, don't set a heathen over you. Plus, you know they known for lying. They ain't never did nothing for you. The Lord's counsel is going to stand, right? He declared the end from the beginning and from ancient times the things that are not yet done. The Heavenly Father been prophesying, been telling us what's going to happen before it even happened, saying, my counsel shall stand and I will do all my pleasures. Now, these, these heathens, stand, their, their counsel is going to stand. You see, the heathens think their counsel is going to stand, but nah. They got another thing coming. They got another thing coming. With the Psalms 49. Let's get this. Psalms 49. Verse 11. The end with thought. Sleazy E. Esau Edom. The end with thought. The elites. So no, with their elites. The end with thought is that their houses shall continue forever. And their dwelling places to all generations. They call their lands out of their own name. See, these heathens starting out with Sleazy E think he's going to rule forever. Mainly Sleazy E. E, yeah, E. Who the hell is E? E, you know who we're talking about. 
the so-called white man. He thinks he's going to rule forever. That that pride. But we look, the, the big boss man just told you, you know what I'm saying, what's going on, what's going to happen. He said, my council is going to stand, not Sleazy East council. Sleazy want to see him the whole earth. The Lord said, look, look, my, I, I already told you, 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 you see what's written. I'm going to let him do his thing. Then eventually, I'm going to come and slap the plate out of his mouth. Eventually. And, the Lord, and, I'm, and I stay constantly watching the news. Yeah, everything going on right about now. There's so much going on right up. Planes crashing. She, a dude just went into a, um, a store with a cardboard box on his head. It's, it's just true. You see? But this devil thing is going to rule forever. But the Lord said, no, nah, man. You, you're not going to rule forever. Lord Yahawashai is on his way, and he's going to rule. You see? Scripture say they, they, they seen crowns on his head. He came and took the rulership away from these heathens. That's why we trust in Yahweh Bashim. I'll try to get this right quick. And I'm just flowing in the spirit. Just some early in the morning. You see the Lord working, man. So you stay locked in. Um, Proverbs chapter 3, verse 5. And it reads, trust in the Lord with all thine heart, all your mind, no matter what you see. No matter what's going on. You constantly pray that Yahweh Bashim Yahshai keeps their spirits in us. They constantly endure, trust, have faith in them. And lean not into thine own understanding. You see certain things going on on the face of the earth. You start leaning into your own understanding. That's when something happened to you. But as long as you're trusting in the Lord. Plus, we walk by faith, not by sight. We're saying, lean not into thy own understanding. In all thy ways, acknowledge him, and he shall direct thy paths. Be not wise in thy own eyes. Fear the Lord. That's the beginning of knowledge. Fear Yahweh, through his only begotten son, Yahweh Shai, who they even call God and Jesus, and depart from evil. Because remember now, the Lord said, my counsel shall stand. Everything that's written of in the scriptures is going to stand, Israel. Let's get this. Let's get some scriptures that's going to stand. I'm going to go through a couple of them, then I'm going to wrap it up. This is Jeremiah chapter 30. This, look, this is going to stand. Jeremiah chapter 30, verse 16. Therefore, all they that, because this is written. Remember, this is written, Israel. No matter what these people say, no matter what you think, this is written. It's going to come to pass. Jeremiah 30 and 16. Therefore, all they that devour thee shall be devoured. What part of that don't you understand? This book is not a book of all. It's all lovey-dovey. You, you must not have anybody that's going around talking about something. The Bible is all about love. You ain't never read the Bible. All right? Anybody walking around talking about something. The Bible is all about love. You ain't never read the Bible, okay? Yeah, look, look, never. Therefore, all they that devour thee shall be devoured. And all thine adversaries, every one of them, no matter how many times Vocab Malone do his little podcast or his little show and his millions and two thirds, I'm saying, get on, get on his love train. What did the scriptures say? That, that look, this is that, you believe in the Bible, right? What is the scripture saying? This guy is saying one thing. You got these false prophets. They're saying one thing. Remember, the Lord said this man's going to make it mandatory that you take a see him. What is the scripture saying in order to buy a sale? That's what you go by. You go by what the scriptures are saying. That's what we do anyway. You see? And all thine adversaries, every one of them shall go into captivity. That's plain. That ain't going to change. No matter what these people say, no matter what type of Bible they recreate, and the words that they change it around, they put different words here, and they put different words there, ain't gonna change nothing. All of them going ahead for us in the captivity, all these different heathen nations going ahead for us in the captivity. And, and all they that spoiled thee, they took everything away from us, shall be a spoil. They're gonna cough it up. And all that pray upon thee, will I give for a prey? For I will restore health unto thee. And it might not look like it. Because I people, especially look look at the Jake over there in Philadelphia. And he in Chicago. Look at these gremlins out there in LA, New York. Look at these look at all in Jamaica. Just, just look at look at look, look at our people out there. Gremlins, man. 
But the Lord said, look, I'm going to restore health unto thee, look, starting off with the elect of the nation of Israel. Lord, what are we part of that number? And I will heal thee of thy wounds, saith the Lord, Yahweh, through his only begotten son, Yahweh Shai, because they called thee an outcast. You see, they pretty much created a system that we don't belong in. Saying, this is Zion, who no man seeketh out the Look, look, all this is, the Lord declared it already, all right? Everything I'm reading, the Lord declared it already. All these heathens are going head first in the captivity, right? Look, we warn you about the day of the Lord. You don't believe us? Okay, don't, don't worry about it. Don't even worry about it. Amos chapter 9, I'm just flowing in the spirit. Just declaring the message. That's all. The Lord says his counsel is going to stand, so everything that I'm reading is going to stand. Amos chapter 9, verse 8. Behold, the eyes of the Lord power, which are the angels, of the chariots upon the sinful kingdom, a.k.a. America, Babylon the Great, and I will destroy it from off the face of the earth. Look, this is written. You're not going to get this is written, all right? You can jump over the scripture. I mean, you can, you can erase it. You can tear it out of the Bible. But guess what? This is written. It's going to come to pass. And I will destroy it from off the face of the earth. How is he going to do that? By way of the chariots, which you're going to call UFOs, spaceships, and by way of the ICBM missiles. Boom, 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 boom. All right? Saving that I will not utterly destroy the house of Jacob, said the Lord. So it's all about that remnant. It's all about the elect of the nation of Israel. All right? Remember now, my counsel shall stand. This place is going to burn as an oven soon. Come, let's just get this. Just bringing out some scriptures that's going to stand the whole, everything in the Bible. But I ain't got enough time to bring everything out in one setting. But everything in the Bible is going to come to pass. No one's going to stop it. Jeremiah 23 and 1. Woe, destruction be unto the pastors, the false pastors, the false prophets. Look, this counsel will stand. All right. So this is going to happen. Woe, destruction be unto the pastors that destroy and scatter the sheep of my pastor, said the Lord. You got these false prophets out there, these false leaders, these plantation Christians, church pastors, Israelites, they're scattering the flock. They're not teaching them the truth according to the Bible. And, and just because you teach a little bit of truth, once you throw a lie in there, guess what? It ain't the truth no more because the scriptures say no liars of the truth. The Lord says he's going to destroy them. Therefore, thus said the Lord, look, look, my counsel shall stand. Power of Israel against the pastors that feed my people with lies. Ye have scattered my flock and driven them away. And look, look, and have not visited them with the truth. Behold, I will visit upon you the evil of your doings, saith the Lord. You see that? And I will gather the remnant, a.k.a. the elect, of my flock out of all countries, whether I have driven them, because you got Israelites scattered throughout the four corners of the earth. They may look like these different heathen nations. And the elder apostles, you know what I'm saying, slash um, elder bishops of Great Millstone, been teaching this for years. Years. That you got Israelites scattered throughout the four corners of the earth. They may look like these different nations. Yeah, Israel, all Israel ain't black, so called. All right? Every Israelite, damn it, don't look like Wesley Snipes. All right? You guys, you got, you got the speckled bird. All black, all black, all black. Stop it. But they're not. But once again, the Lord's counsel is going to stand. What does it say? And I will gather the remnant of my flock out of all countries, whether I have driven them and will bring them again to their foes. And the phone chimed in. And they shall be fruitful and increase. All right? This is all good. And I will set up shepherds over them, which shall feed them. Remember, Jeremiah 3 and 15, I will give you pastors according to mine heart, according to my mind, which shall feed you with knowledge, wisdom, and understanding, right? And they shall fear no more. Cover my people with these words, nor be dismayed. Neither shall they be lacking, saith the Lord. This is a beautiful thing. It's a beautiful thing, man. Everything's coming to pass. The Lord's going to make Israel great again. Let's just get this right quick. I was listening to this last night. Let's get this right quick. Um, Deuteronomy 
Just get this right quick. Remember, the Lord's counsel shall stand. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 1, and it reads, And it shall come to pass, if thou shalt hearken diligently unto the voice of the Lord, thy power to observe and to do all his commandments, which I command thee this day, that the Lord thy power will set thee on high above all nations. Look, look, you see, you see that. Matter of fact, I'm going to click on it. I'm going to make sure you see it. Deuteronomy 28 and 1. And it shall come to pass, if thou shalt hearken diligently unto the voice of the Lord thy power, Yahweh, though his only begotten son, Yahweh, to observe and to do all his commandments, which I command thee this day, that the Lord thy power will set thee on high above all nations of the earth. And this is coming, all right? This is coming in the kingdom. We'll never go off ever again. It's coming. Everything's written. And I'm just, I'm just grabbing some scriptures through the spirit. Never, never trust thine enemy, Israel. And I just want to get this right quick. I'm, I'm, I'm about to wrap it up. I just want to hit something right quick. You see everything that's going on? It's going right according to the plans of the Lord. Just want to get something right quick. Feed the spirit. Lord willing the elect is edified. You got Israelites, you got Israelite leaders, so-called scared to teach the truth, according to the Bible. They skip over certain topics. The only thing they talk about is marriages, you know what I'm saying, weddings, and, 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 you know, and things of that nature. When we're not even living in that time, we're living in a time of all hell breaking loose. People screaming, hollering, running, you name it, man, trying to get the hell out of Dodge, being C-hip, Gerger troops coming down the walkway, all that, man. Let's get this though. Revelation 21 and 4. And the most I shall wipe away all tears. This is future prophecy. Remember, my counsel shall stand from their eyes, from the Hebrew Israelites' eyes. Nick Rose, Latin, and Native American. We're going to rule the earth in righteousness upon the Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, King David, the 12, and the men on down. Lord willing, we of that number on the first go around. The Lord says he's going to wipe away all tears, only tears of joy for the Israelites. You heathens are going ahead first in the captivity. I read that in Jeremiah the 30th chapter. All right? And there shall be no more death for the Israelites. Neither no, what, you heathens don't fit in this, man. All right? Y'all want to sneak in there? Y'all want to get in there so bad? You're going into slavery. There be, shall be no more death for the Hebrew Israelites. Neither sorrow nor crying. Neither shall there be any more pain, for the former things are passed away. And look, look, all this is future prophecy. But, but, but for right now, let the bombs drop. But for right now, let the bombs drop, man, all right? The elements shall melt with fervent heat. Second Ezra chapter 15, verse 1. Behold, speak thou in the ears of my people the words of prophecy. Tell them what's going to happen before it even happens. Why? Because my counsel shall stand, which I will put in thy mouth, saith the Lord, and cause them to be written in paper, for they are faithful and true. Fear not the imagination against thee. Let not the incredulity of them trouble thee that speak against thee. For all the unfaithful. Well, well, the incredulity means unbelief, the lack of faith. Won't let that bother us. Why? Because my counsel shall stand. Let not the incredulity of thee, so like a, let not the incredulity of them trouble thee that speak against thee, for all the unfaithful shall die in the unfaithfulness. Guess what? This is written. Behold, saith the Lord, I will bring plagues upon the world, the sword, famine, death, and destruction. But oh yeah, let's get married, let's build a community, let's have some fun, let's dance, let's shout. To shake your body down to the ground. All this nonsense. When the Lord said, I'm bringing plagues, I'm bringing a famine, I'm bringing a sword, I'm bringing destruction. For wickedness has exceedingly polluted the whole earth and the hurtful works are fulfilled. All right? Let's jump down. Let's jump down. 15. For the process of time. For the sword and their destruction draw of night. <clears throat> and one people shall fight against another. With swords in their hands, race wars, class wars, civil wars, economic wars, gender wars. We go through this all the time, pretty much every day through the spirit. It's written, man. This going to happen. It's written. Get the Israelite group leaders. They ain't even going into scriptures like this. It's going to pop the hell off. Women are going to shut their damn mouth in that day, man. No, no more talking, man. All right. 
You ain't going to be no women uh, in, in brother spots screaming and hollering, prophesying, looking stupid as hell out there. You women going to learn a valuable lesson. You're going you're gonna to learn to shut your damn mouth. I mean, you're going to learn a hard lesson. Hard lesson. When, when this pop off, t- Ain't gonna, ain't gonna be no, I'm independent. You know what I'm saying I'm a boss chicken out. Man, you're gonna be trying to kill yourself to find a man quick, fast, like lightning. For there should be sedition among men. You, you, people are gonna be excited, other people to go against the government and invading one another in and out of these houses, in and out of these buildings. They shall not regard their kings nor prison. Ain't nobody listening to the leaders. The course of their action shall stand in their power. A man shall desire to go into a city and shall not be able. We warning you of martial law. You're not going to be able to go through from one city to another unless you get permission. And you know what that permission is? Getting that C here. All right? Getting that C here. It says, for because of their pride, the city shall be troubled. The houses shall be destroyed and men shall be afraid. If a man is afraid, how much more the weaker vessel the woman? The Lord going to put that fear back into you, Israelite men and women and everybody on the face of the earth. You you wait, man, to really pop that hemp off, man. A man shall have no pity upon his neighbor. Look, remember, my counsel shall stand. This is going to happen. Your neighbor that you've been standing beside 20, 30, it don't even matter, man. They're not going to have pity upon you. And you and you starting to see that now. That's happening now. How much more, you know what I'm saying, in the upcoming days, months, years. You see? Weeks. A man shall have no pity upon his neighbor, but shall destroy. Do you hear what the scripture is saying, Israel? Yo, yeah, this has a fun, all right? Destroy their houses with the sword with weaponry, right? And spoil mean to take their goods because of the lack of bread and for great tribulation. You know, all these things are going to come to pass. I wish I could make it longer, but I got the head out. My counsel shall stand, and I will do all my pleasures, save the Lord, Yahweh, through his only begotten son, Yahweh Shai. Shalom.